Hey, what's up everyone, Sly Soul here, and as you guys can see, I'm back with some more The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. And the last time I posted this was a long time ago, and as many of you know, today is the Winter Solstice, one of the shortest days of the year. And so right now, while I'm recording it, to me, it's feeling like one of the longest days of the year. So, as you guys can see, I'm back with more of this, and I'm really sorry I haven't been having constant uploads. And I explained it in my update that I've been a bit busy with school, trying to get used to it again, and this dog's trying to kill me. Um, and all of that mumbo jumbo, but since now I'm on vacation, I finally got used to the schedule for school, even though it's been like three months, I should have gotten used to it by November. When I was originally going to have things um, get officially started for the channel, but I decided December better because my my animal, which is my mascot on the channel, is a mixture of like a husky slash um, wolf, and it's a white wolf husky hybrid. <laughs> so when do you usually see those animals? Like, pure, like purely white in the snow, so that's why I decided to make it into the winter solstice. So that's most of it, and plus because I really, really like winter. It's my favorite um season, even though it's like freezing cold. But this time of year, it actually isn't freezing cold. It looks like it's still um fall, even though it's now officially winter. And most people don't even know that. Winter starts in a different point because most people say, "Oh, it's December; it's automatically winter." No, it has to happen on a specific day because of the tilt of the sun. And I'm going really into science stuff, but I won't do that anymore. So let's just continue on with this game because Majora's Mask is my favorite of the Legend of Zelda game. The favorite Zelda game, I'm just gonna say that. Because if I say The Legend of Zelda, it sounds awkward to me. I don't know if it sounds awkward to you guys, but it sounds awkward to me. It's what it's my very favorite, even though it isn't my first um, Zelda game. My first Zelda game was what is it called? The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, which everyone seems to hate. I personally love it because Anyway, it's like, oh, it's because it was your first of the game, so that explains why you love it, but I like it, because I love the 2D Zelda games, of course, many might say, which one do you prefer more, 2D or 3D? I prefer both, because I still get the same thing, like getting first in the world, go on endless adventures, for when it comes to The Legend of Zelda, I'm not really picky if it's 2D or 3D. Uh, when it comes to, for instance, like, Sonic the Hedgehog, um, I'm really picky because I was born with um, the 3D um, Sonic game because I was born in the 2000s, and, and because of that, that's really affected me. And now, anytime most of the new Sonic games that come out are like only in 3D, so. Anytime that happens, anytime I, there's like a 2D section of the game, like for instance, like Sonic Generation, I haven't played it yet, but I played a bit of it on my cousin's Xbox, when he had his Xbox uh, back in the time. And I really liked the 2D stages for Classic Sonic, and then I played the original Classic Sonic games, and I feel like I, I enjoy it, but I enjoy more 3D because I like, I'm a big person that's big on exploration. Um, sort of thing, that's why most of my favorite games are 3D games, but like there are some good 2D games I like, like, I'm not gonna bring Mario into like 2D games, because Mario's mostly in 2D, and if I were to pick a 2D Mario game, I'd pick, I guess, 
Yes! Mr. Robbers, you deserve it. That one was a good game. I really like how it was formatted. It wasn't like it improved on what Mr. Robbers we had. Um, but like my favorite 2D game that's up to date is the Little Big Planet series. Like that one was really good. Like that's a really, really nice 2D game that isn't Mario. Because most people are like, oh, the best Mario game is the best 2D platform. Nothing else can beat it. Well, I, I agree on that in some aspects, but not entirely. Because there's always going to be something that prevails over something because uh, at one point of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog beat uh, Mario. Look, uh, look, Mario regains strength and Mario and Sonic look now in the dirt with all those bad games. And when it comes to bad games, that's another thing I'm going to say. I don't really hate bad games. I don't know why. Like, I played Sonic Boom, Rise of Lyric, and uh, I don't really hate it. I, 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 I enjoy it. I think I enjoy bad games because it's funny how they glitched out. Like, for instance, everyone says Disney's Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two, is really bad, and I, and I can understand that. But Epic Mickey, The Power of Two, the way I see it, was meant to be played two players. Because if you... I think they really wanted to enforce that, because... If you play by yourself, you're gonna really get annoyed by Oswald because he does nothing. He, he does nothing. He doesn't even give a crap about what you're doing. He doesn't even want to help you because he's a stupid computer. I think they programmed him that way so that you'd be like, oh, I have to get a friend or a parent if you're a little kid or a, a sibling to help help me with this because I, I want to play this game. I played the original, it was good. And so I think that's what they did. If they didn't, then they really have to like improve their AI, um, especially Disney now, because Disney Interactive Studios isn't open anymore, because who knows why, because I read articles about it, because I, I actually wanted to see what they did for Epic Mickey 3, because I knew they were gonna make it, but I really hope they improved on what mistakes Epic Mickey 2 did, because Epic Mickey 1, I, I, I love so much, because I remember when it came out, like, like, when it came out, I asked my mom I wanted that game with Sonic Colors at the time, and I remember they only had two more copies of Epic Mickey, I got one, Sonic, they had a bunch of copies, and after that, I really enjoyed the game. I always, and I wanted a sequel for the game, and I ended up getting the, um, my wish of getting a sequel, and the sequel ended up being worse. It didn't improve upon it. Of course, my, I may say, hey, uh, it's better than the voice acting. The voice acting is good. I like how the Oswald, Mickey, everyone have their voices. Especially Oswald's got a um, good voice, I don't remember who voice acted, but he had a good voice um, that really blended with the character. But the thing that I hated, hated so much, was how the Mad Doctor kept singing. Like, uh, I just, it was like, Mad Doctor's crazy. And if you want to make him act good, you don't have to make him sing. Like, what's the point? That makes him even more crazy. <laughs> Of course, I know if you guys were going for that, but we don't know what the companies were going for, maybe you might say. Oh, they were going for the crazy look, because he is the Mad Doctor. And they wanted to make him look like, oh, he's all good, but he's still crazy. Yeah, I can understand it, but they didn't have to take it that far. They could have, like, made his mood different. They didn't have to do that. And I'm sorry, um, those of you that are watching right now, Hearing me like rant about it if you want to play the Zelda game. It's just that uh, I got into the games I really have interest to. In. I'll probably make a top 10 or who knows how many numbers because I still have games to play. Like, for instance, like, I haven't played the Uncharted series. So I finally played that on Christmas and I have a 
Assassin's Creed, my first Assassin's Creed game that I've ever played. Um. Oh, I was about to say, how am I supposed to touch him if he's on the other side? Get back here! I'm gonna be playing my first Uncharted game, and then I'm gonna be playing my first Assassin's Creed game. I, I, I played the original trilogy, but again, as I told you how I fixed the operations, it was on my cousin's console, so it's not that I've ever owned it or played it, but I think I've ever owned it. This is going to be my first Assassin's Creed game with the old. And I'm not going to spoil which one it is, and uh, which one turned the game to be the first one, because I wanted to be a surprise on Christmas. But, because I'm going to be doing playthroughs on Uncharted, but I don't know which one if I'm going to start with the first one, the second one, the third one, or probably the beta for Uncharted 4, because I have a bundle for the Uncharted Play 4 edition, and then Assassin's Creed, I won't, I won't spoil it for you, it could be Unity, it could be Syndicate, it could be Black Flag, Flag. Um, but we'll just have to wait and find out on Christmas, but hopefully, um, Hopefully everything goes well when I don't lose my chance of recording that on Christmas because I don't know if a lot of you know about this, but like, you know how last year um, Lizard Squad shut down Xbox Live and PSN during Christmas? Well, there's another squad that is supposedly not associated with um, Lizard Squad going to be shutting down the Xbox Live and PSN that day. <laughs> On Christmas this year, because they did that last year. And I don't really find it good for them to be doing that because like, if those news reports of what happened to Little Squad were true, I feel like you're making a bad decision by trying to do what somebody did last year, which we saw the consequences to. Because last year we saw that, um, Lizard Squad, they got arrested for what they did. They, they were hacking into a high protocol corporation. Why are you all doing this? Corporations, um, servers, and that's illegal. You can't hack into somebody's server, even though, for instance, say they're not a big company, say if I'm a server, you can't hack into somebody's server, because that's against the law. Like, it's somewhat like a penalty, like, say, like, what that, um, if you hacked in the FBI, even though you hacked in the F into the FBI, you're going to get the same consequences as hacking into Microsoft, because you're hacking into somebody's proper, possible personal information, because, of course, Microsoft can only have their personal information on their computers. Yeah, because Microsoft's computers, but, um, their computers, their phones, their, all their servers, because you can hack into that, you can mess with it, and there could be a chance completely break the server and have it be unable to be reactivated which I don't think big companies want that to happen and takes time and more work into fixing a server that they had already running instead of doing, taking their time sorry taking their time and producing newer products like Sony making possible PS5s or, and new Sony phones and Microsoft with new Windows, Windows 17 or whatever they're doing. Five, four, three. I knew it. 5-2-1-4-3. Looks like I'm gonna remember this because of the last two like, numbers. Yes. 4-3, everyone. So, let's go in here. Alright, up here. I will get this heart piece. I am determined. Okay, I give up. Let's go.
so today, I don't know if I stated this before because I'm a forgetful person, but um, Majora's Mask will be getting two uploads a day, so you will see one upload today during the day. Right. Like, for instance, at the moment it's 4. Not 4. <laughs> it's 10 a.m., and this will be posted around like 12 ish. And then I will post the next episode around 3. Two is three, so like a couple hours later. So there'll be two uploads a day for this game, and I will be announcing the new logo and everything for this game. Um, the, for the channel, I, I mean the game. The new logo for the channel, I'll be unveiling it. I'll be revealing it, and I will also, as well, be um, announcing about the giveaways. So, I'll just give you one hint, there's going to be an amiibo, because we're doing, I'm playing on Nintendo game, and all the other things will not be, um, somewhat Nintendo games, so, might as well state it here and now. That it will be an amiibo, and then there will be some games. That I will be giving, oh, that I will be giving away very, very soon on this channel. But that announcement will go on possibly on Christmas because I want to make it somewhat of a Christmas present to you guys for being subscribed to it. Those of you that are subscribed at the moment, you guys will be getting a little gift. Possible game, possible amiibo. Um, and for the amiibo, I think I'm gonna actually, I'm, I'll just tell you guys details on the amiibo giveaway. I think I'll possibly make the amiibo be an option of like, what amiibo you guys want. If you guys want it to be, for instance, um, Ganondorf amiibo, Mario amiibo. It can be any amiibo you want, except for the three packs. Because if I were to get the three packs, I would you would have to wait longer than those. So at the moment, the amiibos will be your choice. You can get any of the options that I will be showing you guys in that video. All those options that I will be showing you on the um, giveaway of the video that will be up will be the options you can get. You can get like the Yarn Yoshi series amiibos, except for the Mega Yarn Yoshi because those, because those big ones that like are extremely expensive at the moment I will not be able to give away. I'm sorry about that because I haven't even gotten them myself, and if I were to get them, I'd probably be like, oh, should I give it to them or keep it? Of course I'll give it to you because I'm not gonna be that bad of a person getting it for you guys, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep it. I'm not gonna do that, it's just that at the moment, financially, I cannot get um, the three-pack Amiibos, but later on in the future, when, um, if we possibly make it to 100k, if, when we make it to 100k, I'll make another giveaway, and when that comes, I'll possibly give away um, a three-pack, I'll keep that in mind, because... I do want to make um, excellent giveaways, but at the moment, since I'm not really a big channel, and I'm not really getting paid by YouTube because I'm underage and I can't get paid by YouTube yet, I can't really make huge giveaways like giving Xboxes, and, um, PS4s, and 3DSs because how am I going to be able to afford that because um, I'm a young kid. Still in school, with no job, doing my hobby for fun, and I don't really make money off of this hobby like some other YouTubers who have hobbies and jobs and get money that way. And of course, some YouTubers have it as a job. This one's more of a hobby to me. I'm not trying to go big. I'm not saying I want to be the next PewDiePie. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm doing this more for fun. But I want to make more constant uploads because you guys have been like so good to me in the aspect that you guys have like stayed like since the beginning. 
doing things by in the aspect that you haven't unsubscribed to me. And keep, keep waiting for those videos I'm not uploading. And because of those, because of that, those of you that are here will be getting a giveaway. And one of the options will be an amiibo. And of course, that video will be coming up later. Um, later on this week, around Christmas time. I'll probably release it on Christmas Eve, so you guys can have an option. Because if I didn't have it on the Winter Solstice, I'll probably would have sent it to you by Christmas, so you could have gotten it. But you'll get it soon enough, so there's no need to worry, alright? Alright, so let's go give this Moon Tear to the Deku Scrub. That will give us a flower. Even though there's a free flower right there. I don't know. It's just... We just have to treat him a, a majestic gem from the moon. Because it's a golden flower. And golden flowers are rare. Oh god! Thank you for the loving kiss. Um, there he comes. Have you just been waiting for somebody to like try to like use your golden flower and be like, get out of that? It's, it's mine. Don't make me slap you with my sex. This is my private property. Do not try using it when I'm not around. Then um, why don't you build a fence around it, sir? I've already sold out of my waivers. The carnival hasn't even begun. I'm thinking of closing up shop so I can buy a gift for my wife and return to her in my village. I've heard that a stone called the moon here sh shines brighter than any other thing in the land. If you got one, I'd like to get it from you. My wife would really love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku. Deku flower included. Okay. Huh. I have this moon here. I don't I don't know if he'll want it. I'll I'll equip it though. He might want it. Is this a moon tear? Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me! How do you know it's it's a it's the real thing and it's a legit moon tear? I, I could have made a knockoff, I could have just um colored it with that and then spray painted it with glitter. Even though I don't think glitter exists in terminal. Okay, so long, my friend. I'll surely meet you next time I start time. Bye-bye, my friend. That guy's got a lot of sacks. Alright, nope, you're not getting me now, dog. I'm gonna make it. Make it. No death, my dog. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. I wonder what Nintendo. How, if Nintendo should have done that. Like, since Smash Brothers came out, they should have made the Smash announcer to, like, do the voice for that. Dawn of the first day. Dawn of the second day. 48 hours remain. I wonder what would happen if, like, they did do that. Let's glitch through this guy! So if you guys have the original Nintendo 64 one version of Majora's Mask, the Wii Virtual Console version, and an emulation because you already own the game, you'll be able to do this glitch. I don't know if you'll be able to do it on the Wii U Virtual Console version because I have not played or owned the virtual console version but I own this one I own the Wii version of it so as you guys can see you can do the glitch I really enjoy that you can do this and if you guys want to know how I'm recording this I'm recording this with OBS explaining why you see the link background so, 
around the border of this because as you all know this is in standard definition and it's in standard definition it will not give you the like same screen size so instead of making it have like black spots in the end I decided to put that background on the back of it so to give it more flair and some sprinkles on it too on Christmas when I do this version I'll probably put a Christmassy background like when holidays come around and I'm recording for something, for instance, like Virginia's Mask, I will be uploading something for this on uh, Christmas. I'm gonna put like some Christmas stuff all over it, so we shouldn't worry. The Nazi flare. Kibania. Beautiful. <laughs> The Skull Kid's face looks like a duck. I've always thought like he was a duck, and then I saw him in Twilight Princess, and I was like, holy crap. He looks scarier than I remember. And I'm like, oh, he's wearing a mask. And then I understood everything. And the little fairy should have two wings, Skull Kid, not like one wing, because with one wing, they look like tadpoles. You know where tadpoles tail, right? You, you have like four wings, even though they're like two that just spread out into angles. Whoa, look at the time. We don't even have two days left. Technically, we only have one day left. But since we're already, we're already in one day, we technically two. I'm not going to go into those technical terms. I'll probably confuse the heck out of all my viewers. I've never seen Terminal like outside of Terminal for rainy. I think I think I like somewhat broke the game. Hey, look, it's not raining over here, but you can hear. Like, how does that make sense? It's raining over there, but not raining over here. Hi, Tangle. I never bought the map. Alright. Hello, sir. What do you know? Solo was up to the and block the road to my ranch. Sorry, quit another day. Why is there no one helping you? I really feel bad for you. If only I could blow this up in one, with one little bomb. Yeah, I remember when I first played this game, I thought, when I, thought, when I first did first, when I went to the first temple, and I found bombs, I was like, Oh my gosh, I can finally blow up, blow up the Rock and Roll Mountain Ranch, and I can finally go see Malon. Malon, Old Malon, and Young Malon, in two places. Because at the time, I know they were named Romani, I thought Romani Ranch was just called Romani Ranch, because it's like how it's Long Long Ranch, nobody has, nobody's named Long Long, except for Malon out there, but um, you get my point, so... That happened, and I put like a bunch of bombs. And put, I threw one, and it worked. Oh, it doesn't work with one bomb, so I put a bunch of other ones. I put like a bunch around, and the guy didn't move; he just stayed there. And it blew up, and nothing happened. And I was like, well, then "What am I supposed to do?" And I decided, I was like, "Well, I'll figure out another time." And I went to go to the Oran Temple, came back. And then I'm like, there's, I, and I, there was this hole, and, um, this, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I'll show you guys when I, when we go to the Goron Temple, um, Snowhead Temple, I don't know why I call it, the Darku Temple, when they have their Woodfall Temple, well, I almost don't know. Snowhead Temple, when, I, when we go do that, I'll, I'll totally show you what hole I'm talking about, but there was like this hole, like, as you guys can see, I'm walking into something similar to that, that goes into a cave. There was a Goron in there, and then they had a powder keg. And I'm like, oh, so that's how you blow it up. Because he made us go blow up the, like, um, big rock block blocking the Goron race track. So, when that happened, I was like, I get it now. 
And that's when I started the Romani recognition. But with this game version I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be doing possibly be doing something different with the Romani game. The Romani ranch mission and another mission. I'm gonna be doing them side by side. Uh, and I'll totally be thinking about this because I want to do them by side by side and then beat the game so I'm going to leave those two missions for the end of the game and then do it when I have the Zora's mask and uh, the Goron's mask I'm going to do that but only time can tell if I will do that or if I would not do that are you there? oh no he's still there okay and as you respawn like temples or then instantly respawn so let's go. Fast forward time. To the third day. So we can do this. And get our ocarina. And return back to normal. Hello, my friend. It's nice to see you again. Night of the second day. 36 hours. I also want to show you a quick Easter egg that Nintendo put in this game because as you many may know this game was released back before well, back in 2000s well, the year 2000s and this was before the GameCube was released and because this was before the GameCube was released like, like almost like a year yeah a year before it was released a year before it was, a couple years before it was released, they put a little Easter egg of a dolphin. I'm gonna try to move out. Put a little Easter egg of a dolphin. <laughs> I'm just shooting it. Of a dolphin, because that was the original name for the GameCube. Dolphin. Project Dolphin. That's why um, the emulator in Pop Dolphin is called Dolphin. Dolphin. Like how Project 64 is called Project 64. This is based off of Project 64. So yeah. So let's like talk to this guy and let's fast forward time. Yo, hey baby, I'm Style and Scarecrow, Rounder, Wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of an eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can get that time in the still time. Shall we dance? Oh no, I didn't mean to say no. Oh, please don't leave. Please don't leave. Yeah. If you play after a song back, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half the day forward in time. Knows by that, pretty interesting. I'm sure I like any song. Learning by you. Better, baby. If you like, you can play with me. Hey, yo. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. yes. Oh yeah, and that can't forget the time. Let's dance. Link's like... I said yes, but I didn't really want to do it, but okay. <laughs> I like when we were starting the day in the interviews, like you get to see the sky and the stars even though it makes no sense in the daytime. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. If you like, baby, we can get about time and dance until night. Yeah, let's do that. Oh yeah, in that case, we get the time. Let's dance. shouldn't be like that, like, uh, why? If you were, you were the one to agree with this. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy, but outside seems to have gone and kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know of a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate low time. Would you like to learn it? Yes. Oh yeah, now listen up. It seems that if you play that song, the serious song back, it slows the path of time. It's Massachusetts. Twice in a row, you can move half a day forward in time. 
How's about that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? And if you like a new song, go try it out. Until then, I'll see you later, baby. Alright, let's go. Let's go get our former self and our ocarina back. I totally forgot that Epona was killed. Uh, I don't think I should have forgotten about him how I first possibly got killed. Or he, he might still be alive. We don't know how skull he is. He could be a liar be doing things against his will, but what we won't know until the time tells, so let's go. Whoa. Alright. Let's go. I don't know. I just don't know. of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. Each new container put together will increase the amount of life and energy you have. The door to the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight at the eve of the carnival. Ah, oh, perfect timing for Christmas Eve. How ironically how I picked this. Looks like we're gonna have to wait four hours until this opens up. And I can only hear the moon coming down. Hopefully time goes by fast so we don't have to wait so long. That will really... No. Yes, Tingle. Saddle on you. I only call you Tingle for now on. He told me this already. I guess I'm just gonna walk around clock down, seeing what's going on. Oh look, the dog's gone. Huh, looks like he's not gonna kill me. On the last day of this world's life. Hey Jacob Kid, you're waiting for us to finish the bridge from the festival tower to the clock tower enters up there? Sorry, my apprentice is pitched and run. This is all we get, boy. Festival tower is not quite tall enough, is it? Sheesh. And if we want the top of the festival tower, we wouldn't be able to get up to the clock tower's entrance. I apologize for all this. I wish we could scare that moon away. I think... Let's see. Who's scarier? That guy or him? Oh. Now do I think of it, I never talked to you on the last day. And looking at you and him side by side, you definitely look creepier. Like, oh, look at his mouth! It looks like he has organs, and it looks like he's like trying to make a dinosaur roar. Like he's trying to make the like some type of roar. It looked like a titan to me. Oh my god! At first I thought it was you. All right, bye, Mr. Titan. That's what I'm gonna call you now. I'm gonna make names forever. Happening. Wait, who's blowing up those fireworks if everyone's gone? Someone please explain this logic to me. Logic. Who's triggering all this? Like, Skull could look pulling up the switch upstairs. 
up on the clock clock tower, or is there like a timer that initially times it, like that clock on it? Is that like some sort of a timer on it, or, or I don't even know. There's so many things that I've been asking questions about in this video that I've never asked before. But we're going to find out. Don't stop now. Look, we can get up there now. I wasn't going to stop until you made me stop. Oh, I ran really fast up there. Whoa. Whoa, he can float. He's been floating this whole time and I just made that stupid comment. Oh, have you been expecting me? Sis! Ah, Tail. I've been looking for you too. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you gave that mask you were wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you stink? Still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. And if, if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. <laughs> Just look above you. If it is something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. Expression does not change. Try and just shoot him while he's doing a spirit bomb. It somewhat looks like he's doing the spirit bomb because he's going like he's like charging up and screaming like how he do in Dragon Ball Z. And then the moon's above him, so it looks like he's doing the spirit bomb. Alright, get the phone. You got the Ocarina of Time. I said phone for some reason. You got the Ocarina of Time bat. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to see it. Hey! Yeah. Suddenly, memories of the Russian back to you. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> you're already leaving to end up high road, aren't you? Even though it was warm, only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. Technically, we've known each other for seven years, but then that all got erased when you sent me back from the past to the present, from the future to the present, technically the past, and then you said um, you wish to live up my um, childhood, and now I'm living my childhood, and technically I had to tell you what happened about an ocarina of time, all those future events, so you guys could arrest Ganondorf and have me not do the deed I was supposed to do by slaying Ganondorf, me going to Termina because looking for Navi, never finding Navi, doing all the things in Termina, coming back, finding out that a war broke out between you guys and the Gerudo because of what happened with Ganondorf, Ganondorf getting sealed by sages, not getting sealed in the Twilight Realm, and... And then the events of Twilight Princess happening, and me not having arrested spirit. Seems legit, okay. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I've never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. That one day. We'll never forget that. I believe in my heart that one day, the day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. Whatever happened to the Ocarina of Time? And all the masks in Majora's Mask when uh, Link came back. Where are they in like Twilight Princess? Like if they make another like um, game after the timeline of Twilight Princess, I really hope they have like the like that Link finds the Majora's like not the Majora's Mask specifically, but like all the masks this Link had in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> 
and some stuff um, Twilight Princess Link had. I am praying. I am praying, praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something shall happen to you, remember this song. Play it in a second. Okay, so I do know my button later you know, because back when I used to do it, I would always like use the C stick when I'm supposed to be using the D pad, but I would always use the C stick instead. And the GameCube controller because I didn't use a classic controller. All right, bye Zelda. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she shall aid you. Snap out of it! What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together! How do you know I'm lost in memories? And I could just be thinking about what I want to eat for breakfast. Getting that old ocarina pack isn't gonna help us. It isn't gonna help us? Somebody, anybody, got us some time. Help us, please. We need more time. Oh, really? This old ocarina, that means a lot to me, isn't gonna help us? Isn't gonna help us? Well, then what's this? Huh? When did you get that instrument? And what is this I'm doing right now, Tail? Tattle. Yeah. You play the song time. Let's go. Whoa. I don't know, I'm looking at this. Majora's masks, like some of its textures, don't look really that bad. Like th those clocks don't look that bad. I really wish they made an HD version of it, though. Like that HD version of Twilight Princess doesn't look that different. Like they did a lot more with Wind Waker. Uh, the moment he said that he killed Epona. Oh. Yeah, I turned into a Deku too. Oh. Hi, Miyamoto. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. Whoa. <laughs> what happened? What? What just happened? Everything has. That dog. Give you a rent one of these days. Start it over. What are you? What are you, anyways? That song you played, that instrument. Are you? I'm a deckless friend. You can clearly tell that instrument. Wait, that's it. Your instrument. That mask tells me said if you got that precious item that was stolen from you, it could turn you to normal. Did you completely forget him? Forget him what? I actually did completely forget. Not now, like especially since I played this game like four times. Technically five with the remake, which I played two times, so technically six times, and this is gonna be my seventh time. And um at first when I, she told me did you completely forget about that? That the first time I played it I was like, oh yeah, I did completely forget about that. Alright. So this is where I'm gonna end off the video. I'll see you guys 
in the next one of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and if you're new to the channel and you would like to subscribe, go ahead so. This channel is going to have a bunch of gameplays coming on soon, so I hope you can enjoy. See you guys all in the